Hello everyone, my name is Chan Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So, the, so today I'm going to uh, paint something like an afternoon uh, landscape uh, with the hills or cliff. And then I'm planning to put something like uh, a city, a distant city, something like that. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're going to need and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. Okay, so I will just do the underpainting first or the sky. Yeah, maybe I'll just do the sky. And then I will... Uh, uh, start from the from the top and then go down something like that okay uh, I have here the blue because I'm gonna put the C also here so I will try to to put the horizon here on this part I don't want to I will put a lesser part of the ocean white and the blue white on the bottom part something like that there I'm gonna put a uh, red and then white oh. I'm going to blend good in this part everyone. I, I don't want to see any other colors there. And then I have their purple. I'm going to put a little more yellow and the red. Yeah, just maybe yellow and the red everyone on the bottom part. Yeah. I think I like this part here. It's like an afternoon scene. afternoon landscape something like that I just have to blend it good very well enough yeah I think that will be enough a little bit uh, yellowish here okay and then I have here the blue and the red yeah
little bit uh, brownish here because this part will be shallow. Yeah, you can put uh, raw umber with a little bit white. So this part will be shallow, everyone. Yeah, and this part will be will be uh, this part will be uh, dark or deep. So you can have a little darker bluish here or purple. So this part, and the bottom part, will be lighter yellowish. And you just have to blend it good, and yeah, it will be like that. So I think I'm gonna let it dry first for at least five minutes, and then uh, I'm gonna go back adding more details. I'm gonna put the cliff here, and uh, I'm gonna put here the the I think the I think of this the buildings. Yeah, it will be a simple painting for this afternoon, everyone. Okay, so let it dry and. We can turn back later on. Okay, everyone. So I think the paint's already dry now, and I'm going to start adding the details. So I will uh, start first by adding some uh, clouds here. So I will start everything on the top. Start now adding some clouds. I think that's focused now. I will be using the number eight nylon flat brush. So here. The medium size flat brush okay so I have here some blue and the red for some purple and in white there and I have here some blue okay I can put some purple clouds here Okay, and as I hear everyone, I put some purple clouds. Then I'm gonna put a uh, white here on the top of the, this clouds. This will be like the highlights. Just a line here, everyone. To show that there are beautiful clouds here. There, so, yeah, I think that's good. And it's very, very simple and easy. 
I also put some a little bit cumulus clouds here. Okay, I think that will be enough. Yeah, and now I think I will do first those uh, those uh, cities here. So yeah, Maybe I will I will put first the the, the buildings, or maybe I will try to put first here so that I can I can. I will know where I'm gonna put those buildings. So this will be a big cliff here, everyone. Okay, this will be a big cliff here. So I will put first the underpainting here so that uh, it will be dry later today when I will be adding the details here. So it's a good idea. So just roll umber everyone playing. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. There. Okay, that's a, a huge mountain. Yeah, maybe I want it uh, more, uh, way bigger. So I have a lot of space there on the top. There you go. Yeah, that's very, very good. Yeah, so I can let it dry here, everyone, because I'm going to proceed here on this part. And I'm gonna proceed on the on the buildings now. Okay. So I'm go I'm going now to uh, put the buildings on a distant part, everyone. So it will be a little bit distance from the from this mountain. And also it will be a little bit smaller. Okay. So I will be using a smaller brush, the number two nano flat brush. And I will be 
mixing this uh, red and the blue to make some purples then I have here the white I don't know if this is straight everyone or not. I'm not sure that if it's straight or not. Yeah, I think it's straight. And also, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. So, mix for blue and the red. Make it straight, everyone. There. put more details like these small buildings and other things Don't put some towers there, whatever you want to put for your buildings.
there. Okay. You can add more a little bit smaller here on the bottom part, something like that. So this will be a little bit thick, everyone, because we need to do it slowly. We do not need to hurry in doing these things. Because uh, everything should be straight, uh, at least. Sorry about the dogs. Okay, so we now created those initial details for the buildings, okay? And now let's put some highlights. So I will be using a smaller brush. This brush, everyone. Uh, number a zero liner brush. So I'm gonna use this white with a little bit yellowish and red, or a little bit orange. will be the highlights of the buildings everyone Okay. So a little bit lights also here everyone. You can also put some a little bit lights there so that you can see that uh, there are also lights there that uh, exist. And so not just like that light but also not so much lighter or I mean a little bit lighter than the something like that
see a little bit clearer that the city becoming alive. Also here, just a little bit lights. go yeah so the city now everyone looks like now I'm coming much more better okay so I'm going to put some windows also there so I'm gonna mix for a little darker purples yeah maybe here Then also lighter colors. Okay, so we can add more lights, maybe here, and also here. Okay, so that's it everyone. You can now see that uh, there's a city a little bit far from this mountain. So the city looks like a city. Looks like, a, looks like a, it's not so much that realistic, but it's, uh, it's looking good. Okay, so yeah, I will, I will stop on that and I will proceed uh, on this part on the mountain. Okay, so now we're gonna put some details on this mountain so what is i'm very excited to put here because it will be just simple and i want it to be much more realistic okay so i have here the raw umber and then yellow and then white to be a white rocks everyone
So, you have to do it like that. You are, you are like using a pallet knife, everyone. I just uh, keep on using like that on, on the brush. There you go. There you go. The bluish thing, everyone, uh, will be on the other side. It doesn't hit by the lights. There. Okay. Now I'm going to put some some details there. Much more details. The lines there. I'll be using this uh, brush number two. Now the flat brush is smallest uh, flat brush I have, and I have here the rue umber. Okay. Yeah, so I am now adding some dark darks everyone to create uh, like there's cracks there or layers of cracks. So we can now see much clearly those details. Those flats, something like that.
Okay, there you go. Yeah, so you can now see everyone that it's made of uh, huge, big rocks there, huge, uh, solid rocks on that part. So it looking great. Those rocks there, I like how it looks there. Look like uh, it's hit by the lights, and it looking really really good there. Okay, so I am going now to put some. much much lighter details maybe a little bit orange yellow and the red and then white and then i'll just mix it here with the existing colors Then I can add a little bit orange, everyone. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. So the more details everyone, uh, the better it will become. So I'll just add more details there. Okay, so don't don't fill everything also because it will be it will be uh, become too much. So yeah, that will be good. It looks like uh, it's a, there's a very big rocky mountain there, and also we need to put also some some grasses there, not just like that. Some grasses or something like. I think I'm, I'm gonna put a crossing waves. I think it, it, this will be become uh, much more realistic and better with the crossing waves, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure, but maybe I want to put. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to put some greenish, little bit greenish. I'm using this brush again. So I have blue. And the yellow, yeah, a little bit red, more yellow, white. What's it here? Yeah, maybe I will 
put some darker greenish first blue yellow and the red or maybe blue amber and then more blue It's important to put also some greenish everyone. There. Then you can use this light light greens or There you go. Yeah, it looks good. I think it's a uh, little better now. Just a little bit of greenish sugar to be fine. Do not put too much because I think too much will be not good also. Okay. Now I'm gonna put, uh, I think, I'm thinking of putting some crushing waves there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I'll just put some, I'll, I will also need to put uh, a sun there. Yeah. And uh, it will be on the beach, something like that. So I'll be using a bigger brush. Then I have here the raw umber and the white. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to, to start now adding some sun here on the bottom part. Just one for everyone. Just so umber and the white. Okay. There. 
here. I will be able to just go to this place. looks good and then let's put some waves so I'll be using the same brush so everyone I'm gonna use this blue and the blue and the yellow it will be like a blue green and then white So here I'm gonna try to make it a little bit lighter greens. Because the water on this part will be shallow. There. And then I will try to use a smaller brush. Let's press everyone. And I'll create some waves there. I have heard the, the, yellow, the purple. It will be a little bit lighter purple. Which I'm white. So the waves will be like that. There. There. And in here also. Just be easy everyone and also here the white phones on the sides everyone lines also because this part will be also a lot of uh, waves there 
And then I'm gonna put now the white. Also here. We can also put forms everyone, a lot of forms. Okay. Yeah, I mean that everyone it looks good, looks like real uh, waves there. Yeah, I like it. It's just uh actually it just looks simple run but it looks good. to put a broken uh, boat also here but uh, maybe later I'll just try to finish this one And then I am going to put some brownies also. Here, everyone. No, no. It will be. Uh, it should be a little bit darker brownish. go and then I'm going to add some darks everyone because I think this is just too light I need to put also darks blue under umber 
little bit white. So you can now see some darks on that part. You can now clearly see the depths. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. It's uh, very, very simple, everyone, but it looks good for me. It looks uh, pretty realistic. Now we can create. Uh, we can create some. Wait. Uh, I think we can create now some reflections, yeah. Okay. So I will create a little bit reflection from the sky. It will be some bluish reflection. Same thing here. It will, it will be a little bit darker with some red. So here. reflection of the sky there Okay, now we we need to put also some parts with this dry, which is a little bit lighter. So we have here the blue, amber, and white, and yellow, and then red. This part everyone will be how uh, to try it sun. Meaning the waves doesn't hit this part. There you go. Yeah, it, it looks like uh, it's tried. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll, I will try to put, I'll try to put a boat there, everyone. It will be my last part. Uh, maybe a broken boat. Yeah. Yeah. On the, I'm gonna put the boat on the beach. Uh, maybe it will be something like a broken boat. Uh, I'm not really sure about my 
Lines here is not so straight. Yeah, so doesn't look good. Why do we have no reflection here? Because of the waves, even if the waves is too great or big, uh, reflection will be so much, uh, it's hard to see this reflection there. So it's normal like that. Straight here is not good. Okay, I think that uh, that's better. Yeah, I think that's better. And also, the, I think this one is not good. I will retouch this one. I will touch that one first. That's not uh, on a good perspective uh, building. <laughs> there okay yeah it uh, becomes better now perspective uh, becomes better and then I'm going to put now the boat yeah the boat is uh, I think I'm excited to put the boat there to put the boat at the center maybe I am still thinking about the perspective everyone it's very very important mm -hmm. yeah I can now see where I'm gonna put the boat So I think I'm gonna put it here. Yeah. Yeah. So I will be using the row umber. The boat should be smaller, of course. There. 
Yeah, I think that will be a good perspective. And then, we'll put some white with a little bit yellow and the red. there okay maybe I'm gonna make this boat uh, red yeah something like a dark red there it will be an old boat there Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna put some blue, raw umber, and uh, a little bit blue, everyone. We're gonna put the uh, reflections here. And then also a uh, casted shadow. Maybe we can we can use this pure umber. The, the light is coming from the left side, I forgot to mention. And then I'm gonna use this so umber with the blue. There. And also white. So we have a reflection. Uh, it's uh, an afternoon scene in one right? That's why the reflection is like that. And then also here. And also this. Uh, This for white forms. There. Okay. Yeah, at least there's a boat there and it completed the entire scenery. It completed the entire view. And it looks good. It looks uh looks realistic for me. Okay, so what else everyone? I think uh I will let you see everything. So I'm thinking uh what other things that I can I can add here everyone to complete the entire scene.
Yeah, I think this will be enough everyone. I think this will be just be enough for today and I like the simplicity of this painting everyone. It's just so simple that everyone I think can do it, can do this one and uh, you can learn a lot more uh, a lot of things in this uh, tutorial. You can you can you can paint, you can create create a distant buildings. You can paint something like uh, this rocky mountains on this uh, right side and in the boat the crossing waves the beautiful sky and and everything there you can you can learn and you can actually apply it on your own painting so i want to say thank you for watching this video today i hope you are you are happy with the entire result and also i am very very happy i'm contented and just very very simple thing okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of your palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.